So, how to repair a general civilian respirator that has a broken safety pin. It's very simple. Sorry about the camera and the lighting. But, here you've got the safety pin. So, the situation is that a safety pin is broken. And you need to replace it on your mask. And yes, one of these has broken, but this is from a spare straps. Don't worry, I didn't cut this off and mask myself. This came like this. This is, It looks like it actually has been cut from the mask, but this is... I haven't done it. This is already from a spare set of straps, which I was given as extras, which have actually come in handy because I need to replace a safety pin. So, as you can see, these have original safety pins. And the one here has rusted, as you can see it's rusted and snapped. This is not going to be an easy task. Well, I said it was going to be easy, but now I regret it. I don't think this is going to be easy. So, let me try and remove this one. Let me get a pair of tweezers. Please bear with. It's like removing a splinter. And the thing is, you don't want to break the straps on the mask. See, it's coming out. And you don't want to break the straps on the mask. So, as you can see, I think I can pull it out, maybe I can't. You just want to keep giving it. You want to keep grabbing it and pulling it outwards. There we go, so that's a broken safety pin. Grab your new one. And you want it to go through the correct hole. So, push it through, same hole that had been through, probably going to have to do this off camera so please bear with, and that's, it's in now as seen, and that's the very best I can do to fit this to my head, so this will now fit on me, this mask will now fit on me, it's adjusted to my head size correctly, this is the only one I'll be doing. I don't want to ruin another historical mask. It's not ruined, but you know the safety pins have been refitted. Not all of them, I don't think. It was just a two ones at the back, like that. So, as you can see, they're in. And now I can wear this with a replica filter as such. So, very happy that this mint condition, near mint condition, civilian respirator has now been fitted with correct safety pins. So what what you really need to do is just push, let me zoom in, what you really need to do is dig it in in both straps, adjust it to where you, adjust the straps to where you want them, using, you know, pulling on the pieces of the canvas or thread, uh, you know, by using this adjustment buckle and 
once you're satisfied with where you want this strap, where you want it to your head, or wherever, what you then need to do is push it underneath both straps, put them together, nice and straight, uh, nice and straight and neat. Push it underneath, push it back outwards, and then clip it together, and that's what you get. Um, that's an original untouched safety pin, anyway. Uh, I think these two. Are, uh, I think that one might be, but this one. You can see what's happened, <laughs> and. Uh, you know that it's had to be replaced, and that's the old safety pin, as you can see, it's missing its head, uh, not the head, the um, clasp or whatever, whatever. Sure can see on camera, that's the old safety pin, which is basically like a splinter, a needle, um, so I'll be throwing that away, and I just got these off, off these, don't use a safety pin from a mask, what's intact, in my in my case, I will just devalue it even more. Even removing a safety pin will devalue it. But if it's broken, you know, get a broken set of straps. What you don't need. Take the safety pin. Take the safety pins like I have from this from this side. Take the safety pins from the straps, and add it on to your mask you want to repair. Very simple. Um, that's how to repair this uh, the uh, well a video on how to fit a safety pin onto the civilian respirator and as such so it's pretty simple it's effective it works if you do it right um yes you might accidentally stab yourself a few times like i have done uh with the um with the safety pin Especially this one, the broken one. Um, so just be careful and make sure you, you don't bleed, uh, you don't poke your thumbs and end up bleeding. Um, pretty simple. It's best to get a good safety pins because the rusted ones always snap or mostly snap. This is probably a better one, it is slightly rusted, but um, you can see. I'm not sure if you can see how rusted that is. Probably got a bit of rust in my hands now, so I will have to wash my hands. But that has rusted. So, that's my tutorial on how to fit a safety pin to the general cerulean respirator. Hope you liked it. It's good as new. Adjusted to my head and size. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.